Can the pH of your mouth actually cause cavities? Yes, actually it can. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about the pH of your mouth and how and why it relates to your dental health. So first things first, the pH levels in your mouth should be neutral, which is around pH level seven, or specifically between 6.2 and 7.6. A healthy mouth is a neutral mouth, not acidic. We want a neutral mouth, we don't want an acidic mouth. And the big issue, regardless of whether or not your mouth is naturally neutral or naturally acidic, is that most foods and drinks, most everything that we eat and drink, tend to be more on the acidic side. So when we consume these acidic foods and acidic drinks, it temporarily increases acid levels in our mouth. And of course, it's worse if you tend to have a naturally acidic mouth to begin with. Because not only do high acid levels physically erode your tooth enamel, but also it makes it easier for tooth decay and cavities to form. In addition, it can also affect how well you're able to fight off bacteria that cause gum disease. So acidic mouths tend to get more cavities and more gum disease, which can also lead to tooth sensitivity. So we get it. Acidic pH levels in your mouth are bad. And throughout the day, the longer your mouth stays acidic, the more damage it does, which is one of the reasons why snacking is the absolute worst for your teeth. Now, what actually makes your mouth naturally acidic? It's your saliva. So whether you have any medical conditions or untreated infections, the overall health of your body can impact the natural pH of your saliva. A classic example is untreated acid reflux disease. The constant acid levels coming up from your GI tract don't just cause heartburn. They can also erode your tooth enamel due to increasing the pH of your saliva. Okay, I'll stop singing it like that. So being aware of your saliva's pH can help you prevent future dental issues and keep your mouth healthier. But how do you find out the pH of your saliva. Pause for a quick dental announcement. If you like teeth and you want to learn even more about teeth, I now have a weekly toothy newsletter. There's a link in the bottom bar if you want to sign up to receive toothy tips in your email each week. Things like whitening hacks, how to afford the dentist. We tackle all the dental questions that you may have and I hope to see you there. Now back to the video. So if you are interested in finding out the pH of your saliva, my best advice is to ask your dentist about a salivary pH test that they can do for you in office. Or order a kit that you can use at home. I will link a kit that I've used before in the description box if you're interested. Pro tip, if you are planning to test at home to get accurate readings, it's usually a good idea to take a few tests throughout the day, one being immediately when you wake up in the morning, not even a sip of water beforehand. I did this and my saliva was so acidic in the morning, which everyone's will be more acidic when you first wake up. And then I took it again after I brushed my teeth and it was perfect, neutral. So that's just some evidence as to why you should be brushing before you eat breakfast. That's another video though. Anyway, once you test a bunch, read the directions on the test. Some of them will say to test an hour after every meal you eat, things like that, just to get a baseline of where you're at. And whether you've already tested your saliva or plan to test your saliva in the future, or if you're just assuming you have acidic saliva because you tend to get lots of cavities, whatever the case, here are some tips that can help balance your mouth's pH. And these tips are not only for those with acidic saliva. Anyone can follow these tips to improve dental health. However, those with acidic saliva will benefit the most from doing these seven things, including number one, eat a high alkaline diet. When you purposely want to balance your mouth's pH, you should start by eating a more alkaline diet. Things like vegetables, legumes, or milk. And in fact, drinking milk can make a difference in your oral pH within just 10 to 30 minutes. Assuming it's not flavored or sweetened, of course. Number two, eat more vegetables. So like we said, fresh vegetables are usually alkaline. Things like spinach, avocado, celery, cucumber, wheatgrass, bell peppers, broccoli, kale. Number three, avoid alcohol and sugary drink. Drinking sugary drinks, of course, creates an acidic environment in your mouth, including soda, coffee with creamer, and sports drinks. So try to avoid any of those. The same goes for drinking alcoholic beverages because of how alcohol physically dries out your mouth. Now, does this mean you can never ever treat yourself? No, it just means that everything needs to be in moderation instead of sipping on sweets for hours and hours on end every single day. Remember, frequency is key. The longer things sit on your teeth, the worse it is. Number four, limit sweeteners. So similar to liquid sugary drinks, artificial sweeteners are bad for your teeth as well. Things like diet soda, fruit juices, or anything that says sugar-free might still have cavity-causing acidic substances in them. However, the one good sweetener, the one exception is xylitol. That one is great for your teeth. Lots of sugar-free gums and mints have xylitol in them. Always go for the xylitol. Number five, avoid fermentable carbs and sugar. Fermentable processed carbs are sometimes considered 
worse for your teeth than regular candy sugar. They are actually just as, if not more, responsible for promoting cavities and increasing acidic levels in the mouth. Examples of fermentable carbs are processed bread, crackers, cookies. So watch out for those sneaky causing foods and always, always, always swish with water and floss after eating them so they are not stuck on and between your teeth for a prolonged period of time. Frequency. Number six, drink more water. Of course, whenever you drink water, like I've been saying, it helps flush away acids and bacteria inside of your mouth. It's one of the healthiest things you can do during the day, throughout the day. Tap water is best because some bottled waters have actually been known to have acidic pH levels. What? So if you really like bottled water, make sure you check whether or not it's acidic. I'll link some alkaline waters that I like in the description box if you're interested. And lastly, number seven, use pH balanced dental products. Some types of anti-cavity toothpastes and mouthwashes are specifically alkaline, aka basic on the pH scale. They help neutralize acid levels on the mouth. So be sure to only be using neutral and basic products, never acidic. You might be thinking like, wait, what? Why would dental products ever be acidic if acidic is bad? I'm just gonna say it. Put it out there for you that you gotta be careful with some of those products out there because it's a shame how lots of companies are not transparent. Like there's no solid research out there for most of these products claiming to be pH balanced. Some mouthwashes, for example, just throw words on their labels like cavity prevention and stuff like that. And sometimes they're actually acidic, which is the opposite of cavity prevention, right? <sighs> I mean, of course, yes, there are a few companies that do include the research and they seem to be legitimate. I've been wanting to compile my own list of pH friendly products, which I really wanna do one day. And maybe I will. That can be a fun video. Depending on a chemist and like testing the pH of all the mouthwashes that exist, we can make a solid list. But until then, I'll link a few pH friendly products that I've found so far in the description box below. So in all, just remember that even if you're cleaning your teeth as great as you can every single day and you're drinking lots of water, doing all the things, acidic pH levels can still make it difficult for you to keep your teeth healthy because of the natural pH of your mouth. So if you're someone who is constantly getting cavities, make sure you talk with your dental provider about your pH levels and follow the seven tips we just went over to help change up the bacteria in your mouth. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.